What's up, monk mode? Hi, Thumos. Hold the torch. Keep the torch going, man. We're the men now. By the way, in case you didn't know that, we're the men. And we have to, you know, be as men. I think we could actually take away something from the past. Kind of how men were. We can bring that here. We can sort of time travel back, enter the rift, and bring back a piece of what was lost to today's age. And I think there's a sort of groundness, groundedness. I think there's a sort of calm, clarity, focus, maybe even a little bit aggressive, you know, strong. Not back down, not be scared, not, you know, shy away from conflict, but to be bold, be audacious. You know, I realize that a lot of times these days we have, there's so much input and the input isn't always what we need. And then what we get is this really terrible output. And it messes with our mind. The technological advancement has rewired the mind. And it's got us away from what nature was. A lot of people say, oh, but this is progressive. We got to be progressive. You don't want to go back to be a barbarian. You know, those bar barbaric times. And that's not what I'm talking about. Okay, but as we have this advancement, what happens is we get very far away from nature. And I really believe that if you want to understand things, if you want to seek truth, you can find a lot of that truth in nature, as nature is. You can see the difference between man and woman. You can see that one is stronger, one is weaker. Our bodies are different. You can see how nature reacts, how nature is sometimes cold, it doesn't care. How nature is still. You can see in tradition, in how we were brought up, how tradition is sometimes the best for f family. How culture unites people. With the influx and being inundated by all of this tech and all this stuff, man, it's it's almost too much. And we cannot bypass millions of years of evolution. We can't bypass that. And so to think that we can have all of this input without experiencing some negative consequence, and not all of it's negative, okay? I'm not here to be a bearer of bad news. It's not all negative. It's quite good. It's a useful tool. But if you want to reclaim something from the past and you want to find truth, then put everything down. Put all the input down. Become like nature. Become still. And you'll realize, you know, how to be calm. And you'll find out a lot of the answers. And I see what a lot of us are doing these days is we're running around and jumping on various forums and chatting with you know, in sort of an echo, echo chamber. And we're really not progressing. We're not any happier. We're not any better. We're not, man, we're like little boys running around, complaining, crying. We don't have no focus, man. We're getting lost. We don't rise to the occasion. So that's not how we got to be. So I really believe that you can bring back a bit of that past, okay? And nature's going to tell you a lot of truths and reveal to you. Uh, being present will also check in your tempo. Like I say, check your tempo throughout the day. You don't want this nervous energy that goes like this all the time. You're, you sort of feel it in your chest. You want to be able to breathe from your belly. You don't want to be too excited. You don't want to be too crazy. Just check the tempo. Bring it back down. When you're talking to girls, if you just check the tempo, you'd be, you'd be like, wow, why am I trying to be a circus act? Why am I trying to perform? Check your tempo, man. Be like nature. All right? As men, we have to realize that it's tough. You know, the journey's tough. 
and suffering is guaranteed. So there's no use really arguing with that. And I find that one way that we deceive ourselves is to, and to make the suffer, suffering a little bearable, is to actually put our suffering on other people. And maybe, maybe uh, get caught up in a lot of bickering, gossip, complaining. And more than ever, social media gives us that opportunity, and a lot of us are taking it. And the scary thing is, is that it's becoming a habit. Like a lot of us have a habit. And guess what? A life is just a series of habits. A good life, a well-lived life, is a series of a bunch of good habits that get you results. A bad life that you wouldn't want to live is a bunch of negative habits. Checking the phone unconsciously, throwing stuff in your mouth unconscious, eating the cake procrastinating, not being able to sit there, doing something else. You don't think about it. It's just a habit, right? That's the thing of a habit. You don't think anymore. You just do. So you can use awareness. You can use the tempo with awareness to, to break out of the cycle of negative habits. But many of us are taking that route of just adding to the noise. We're adding to the noise and the confusion. We need to take steps back and be a light. And every one of you can do that. You guys are smart. I know it. You guys have fire in the belly. You're young. Maybe you're a little older. You want to do something with your life. And I'm telling you that the road ahead is going to be narrow. That's as clear as day. When Jesus in the Bible was talking I don't know if it was to his disciples, but he was saying, what is it the cost of going to, going to be to be my disciple? And he very clearly said, it's going to be, you got to deny yourself and you're going to have to pick up your cross and you're going to have to follow me. And you may have to, I believe when he said, hate your mom and dad. I think in one of the verses, it hate your mom and dad, your girlfriend, your doggy, you know, all that other stuff. But you're going to have to, like, say, hey, no to some stuff. You're going to have to deny all these external excess things and get your eyes on the narrow road and keep walking. It's going to be tough. A lot of people don't seem to want to, to do it. That's why a lot of people don't. It's easier to complain, and it's easier to, to get to find these escape routes where you, you, your energy dissolves, it fizzles out, than to rather keep your eyes on making things better. And you have, it's tricky, the devil is tricky, man. The, it, you know, let's just use the devil like in terms, but the evil prevails and it, it is masked through all of these things. Pleasure, it uses the pleasure to enter your life. And you think you're doing it, but it's not. And so you gotta be wise. You have to be wise. It says in the Bible, I'm sending you out like sheep amongst wolves. You must be wise as serpents and innocent as doves. You have to be wise. You have to be you have to walk with your eyes wide open. It's going to be hard. And I guarantee you that if you're gonna start making something of yourself, rising up in your life, being a man. Well, then you're going to have to say no to a lot of stuff. A lot of doors are going to have to shut. You're going to have to live the monk mode lifestyle. It's not exactly a balanced lifestyle, but there's going to be a lot of, you know, can't stay up too late because I know that if my sleep sucks, then I'm not going to be able to function right. Like Nietzsche said, when we are tired, we're conquered by and plagued by worries we conquered long ago. We're plagued by worries that we conquered long ago. When we eat all this junk, what happens? Negative emotions showed up that we thought we had figured out. It's almost like you're stuck in this haze and your mind continues to work. I know a lot of you guys can relate to this. Your mind continues, you're trying to think your way through the problem. The best way to be is to not try to think your way through the problem and just be. 
there's a sort of if you can just be embrace the present turn it off the thinking always trying to think you're not doing math problems in a math problem you would think this petty anxiety nervous excitement is not something you think your way through you relax and if your brain is pumped with sugar constantly and all of this other junk well guess what you're not gonna be able to relax okay if you're going to rise up and decide to be a man and take control yeah it's going to be hard guess what some things are getting even harder some people right now in this time of the recording are experiencing a lot of uncertainty and they're lost okay so are you going to be someone that's like yeah i'm just gonna i'm gonna give it a go i'm gonna give it a go no you're not gonna give it a go don't even start Charles Bukowski, in the famous words, the famous line of that poet, uh, you know, poem, he says, if you're going to try, go all the way. Otherwise, don't even start. Don't even start. Many of us are not really committed. You know, we haven't taken up the cross to go all the way. Your life should be a testament to that. Okay, you gotta really like, you gotta be it, man. You gotta be it. And look, I'm not perfect. I fall and fall. I, I'm, I'm telling you this as a message, what I tell myself. These are things that I tell myself. It's difficult to, because you're going to fall. You're gonna get down, you gotta get back up, you gotta put the cross here, you gotta keep going. You can't care what this guy says, this woman says, the mom and dad. You got to be careful with the environment, especially that you're in, because we we learn through osmosis, their way of being transfers to you. So you got to be careful, or it's going to infect you. The people that you're around, like it or not, you're going to take on their way of thinking, their demeanor, their vibe, their aura, their energy. They're going to impact you. Osmosis. So you want to be reading the 25 pages a day. You're learning through people that were of a higher way of thinking. They were smarter, maybe, maybe they accomplished something that you want to accomplish. They went through the problem, they put that down. Continue the reading. 25 pages a day. We're doing it all of April. All right. Rise to the occasion. Let your life be a testament. Okay. Walk the road. I want to leave you guys with this. This is the law of Pareto. Okay, the law of Pareto is, a, is an actual observable law, like gravity. It has a lot of weight to it. It is not good enough for you to be busy doing this, all this stuff. The law of Pareto states, and you want to know this as a man, that 20% of what you do, the actions, the inputs, all these various activities, 20% of those are responsible for 80% of the results that you're getting. And if you're not happy, then you need to look, if you're not happy with the 80% of your results, which is your life, then you need to take a look at the 20% of what you're doing because this is giving you this. And you can begin to design and hone in on a few of these things to make this better. What you're doing here is finding a priority. Many of these things that we talked about, getting lost in the sauce, complaining on social, blah, 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 is not going to give us the 80% of results that we want, that we desire. They're giving us this 20%. Or maybe, you know, maybe our really bad habits and our ways of living, the things that take up most of our time, that we do for the majority of the day are giving us 80% of our results that are contributing to a life that is of depression, anxiety, and pain. Okay, that needs to be looked at. Understand the law of Pareto, and then you'll be able to go in and say, well, let me, let me make a list for myself. And you can call this your success list. Instead of having a to-do list, like, you know, a lot of women have to-do lists, men too, 
I see a lot of women do it. They're like, I gotta run errands. I gotta do this. Look, as men, we gotta have priority. Okay, and that means picking. Okay, narrow the twenty percent down. What's just like the five percent that you can do every day? You can show up. It's gonna give this the green. All right, that's gonna just impact everything. The road is narrow. It's worth figuring this out. The law of Pareto. Highly recommend you try to, you know, digest this. Write it down. Don't just jump to another video. Write this down. Learn it. Observe it. And then take a look at your life. It's Sunday, by the way. So we are going to plan a mission. That Your individual mission you need to be planning for the week ahead. Missions are a foundational part of monk mode. So to give yourself a mission, don't just go into the week blindly with no game plan, with no system set in place. All right? So that's it. I will see you guys. I hope you enjoyed the fellowship. Comment down below, and I'll see you soon. Peace.